navigating the reporting for BOI, the beneficial ownership information. Now, for all of you that are just joining this conversation, there is an act coming in January 2024 called the Corporate Transparency Act. We're doing a series of videos. You can always go to the search bar and search for other videos after you watch this one completely. This one is critical because it's how to navigate that reporting that is going to be necessary for all of you that are living corporate life. 32.6 million business owners in America are going to be affected. So we're going to go jump to an expert, Scott, who's my partner in generational wealth systems. We're going to talk about three things today regarding this. Number one, you know, what is the reporting and what are the requirements? There's actually a very cool download that we'll talk about that you can get and start getting more education about it. The second thing we're going to talk about is actually understanding the timeline, the compliance around that. And number three, mistakes and penalties if you don't comply. So let's just move over to an interview with Scott right now. So Scott, welcome back. We are talking about navigating the reporting now of this beneficial ownership information, part of the Corporate Transparency Act. So welcome back. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So let's jump right in and talk about when and how to report the beneficial ownership information. And I think as we say this to all of you, it's really not that available yet. So don't freak out and say, oh my gosh, I'm way behind because we're just getting in front of giving you information because we want to be the source for the newest information as we always are. So Scott, what is the reporting requirements? Uh, we obviously know it starts January 2024 and then what? Yeah. So January 1st, 2024, any businesses formed prior to that date will have approximately 12 months to get that beneficial ownership information report filed through the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Any new businesses filed after January 1st, 2024 will have anywhere, and it's kind of unclear right now, but anywhere between 30 to 90 days to get that BOI, that Beneficial Ownership Information Report filed through the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Now, it's kind of still unclear as to what information they're gonna be asking for. However, we do know that if you're an owner, 25% owner, or you exercise substantial control, meaning you're a president, chief operating officer, CEO of a company, your personal information, your socials, personal addresses, company address, ITIN or EIN are gonna be reported through this beneficial ownership information form. So again, this is not available as of yet. It will go live proposed January 1st, but we'll see. We'll see if the servers can in fact handle that inflow of entrepreneurs filing this information. And what about uh, companies that like there's a lot of foreign people, obviously, with our borders being open right now who are forming companies. Obviously, that's, you know, money laundering and trafficking and all of that, as I know what they're looking for. But talk a little bit about those, because there are a lot of international folks who do have access to companies. How are they going to file? It's going to be kind of the same thing, you know, especially a new or a foreign company coming into the country. Same process. You're going to go through the portal uh, that the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network will be setting up. And again, they have those same filing deadlines. Now, foreign companies, I don't know if they're giving them a year to do so. Again, still kind of unclear. I think they're still trying to figure it out themselves, if you will. <laughs> so the, the reports are going to be filed through FinCEN, right? A secured system. So talk a little bit about that and the report that people could download. We're going to put a link below on what we know so far and some of the sites that we think are your best and most accurate information. Yeah, absolutely. So FinCEN did actually release the guide, the BOI guide, if you will, that has a series. It explains exactly what the Corporate Transparency Act and what information is needed in the beneficial ownership information report. There is a checklist there to see if you qualify as an exempt company. However, exempt companies are typically public accounting firms, you know, stock trading firms, large publicly traded companies that are not required to comply with filing this information. Deadlines coming. Talk a little bit about what's in the report that they'll be downloading. So again, we're going to put some of these reports in the description below. If you have other questions or topics you want us to share more about, you know, put that in the comment section. If it's a bigger question, go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L. Ask a question, make a request. We'll make sure that that gets facilitated by Scott and myself. So talk a little bit about that report and what they'll be seeing when they download that. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, there's six different components to the report. It talks about 
Does my company have to report its beneficial owners? So, you know, are you one of those companies that's required to report? It talks about who is a beneficial owner of any company. Then it talks about, does my company have to report its company applicants, which basically means any person who was brought into the picture to help form a company, do they also have to be reported? So, you know, there's some companies that will, one person will form it and then they'll resign. Well, that person's information now also has to go on uh, the report. What other specific information does my company need to report? Uh, how should my company file its initial reports? And what if there are changes to or inaccuracies in reported information. So the full report, it outlines all the requirements of the small entity compliance components. And the penalties and fines we hear are gonna be substantial. So you wanna all pay attention, lean in, and uh, keep this on your radar. So to do that, I want you to subscribe to our channel. We will be back, uh, believe me, beginning of the year, if not before, with more information about what to do and just staying in touch with us. And uh, we'll keep guiding you, navigating as we do, because part of uh, what Scott does, not only for me, but many, many of our clients, is the corporate compliance to keep make to make sure that your corporate minutes are confirmed. So for those of you who are already compliant and already working, it shouldn't be that big of a lift. It's just another form the government wants from us. Super fun. Make sure you subscribe to our channel though. Click that notification button, be here five days a week. We are family friendly. So those of you who plan on having generational wealth and your kids are gonna inherit the companies and the trust, they're gonna have to uh, stay in touch with all of this uh, and the compliance that's coming along with it. So share this channel, share this video, make sure you get the word out to other entrepreneurs and but wealth builders, business owners. You know, it's going to be interesting, Scott, the amount of real estate investors who have companies, uh, you know, properties and LLCs and their level of reporting. I just realized like, a huge part of that 32.6 has got to be a lot of real estate folks, what they're really looking for out there. Absolutely. Anything else uh, for today's uh, conversation? Or uh, again, make sure you stay on this channel, click the notification, pay attention every day. Even if it's a little bit of new information, you want to stay up to date. And at any time, go to askwell.com, ask a question, make a request. If you want to learn more about how to live corporate life. So we teach an all-day intensive teaching you these strategies on how to do it. So I'm going to hand you two tickets. So in the link below, grab your two tickets and I'll see you at the next intensive teaching you to live corporate life. We'll talk tomorrow.